Hello peeps and welcome back to Galt's Gorge. That's right, we finally updated for 152 and I am playing on here again actively. There's a couple people on, not a whole lot. Um, just as a reminder, this is not a private server. Feel free to visit our website, download the mod pack, install it, and come play with us. Yes, do. On TeamSpeak with me right now is Fun Devin, LH. Oh. And you. Grim, you still here? I think that is a big fat no. <laughs> Guess not. He's there, but he's not there. Oh, he's AFK? Yeah. Okay. Um, this is the spawn building that we built up. Looks pretty cool. We've all pretty much just gone our own ways. But Fun Devin, Kozak, I think Mason's going to join us. No, he's stuck with Stu. Oh, he went with Stu? Okay. Yeah. Um, we are all undertaking a fairly major project, and I will show you in just a minute. First of all, let's talk about the mods that we have installed. Notably absent, Red Power. Screw waiting for updates. Screw... Oh, I'm going to release a beta update to a private server where nobody can play with it unless you're an internet celebrity. No, screw that. We, weren't, we aren't waiting on it anymore. No Red Power. Instead, we have industrial craft, build craft, forestry, rail craft, all of the usuals. We also have mine factory reloaded, power converters. You might notice the power glove on my uh, hot bar here. We have modular power suits. We have Amibus microblocks. Is that how it's pronounced? Yeah, I think it is. And uh, applied energistics. Yes. I think that's the big ones. Alright, so what am I working on? We are rebuilding the glory of Oceanica. Glory? <laughs> nah. User disconnected from your channel. Now oh, there goes Graham. How does one use these hacksaws? Hey man. Oceanica was grand thing in its day. Hmm. And this one's gonna be even better. Mostly because it's going to be uh, bigger. Um, what you're seeing here is maybe one-tenth of the total city size. It's going to be 160 by 200 to start, and we might make it bigger from there. Um, we've got a little bit of stuff set up already. We already have a couple of MFSUs in here, four of them now. We have a nuclear reactor over here that's running just a small reactor, just enough to supply our early power needs. We're not going crazy yet. Over yep. here, we've got some processing. We have industrial craft stuff here. We have Greg Tech installed on the server. Greg Tech stuff is right here. Uh, the only problem is we have the cheap recipes on, too. Yeah, unfortunately, some of the recipes, like the modular power suit stuff, there's two of them enabled. One Greg Tech, one thermal expansion. The thermal expansion recipes are a lot cheaper, so... You can cheat a little. No, kitties, you're not coming in this time. Not happening. Um, we got some thermal expansion machines set up over here along with some real rudimentary automation. Over here we have project benches. Not project tables. These are actually a standalone mod made by someone who liked the functionality of project tables but didn't like the fact that it was tied to red power. So, <laughs> here's a standalone version. <laughs> Check out the ceiling. Red stained glass, blood stained brick. These blocks here that have kind of like the star pattern, these are actually roads from, I think that's Mine Factory Reloaded. Yeah, it is. But they share the same mechanic of, that ice does and that you slip and slide while you're on them, and you actually walk slower on these than you do on just regular roads. So we decided to just use them as a building material. Screw using them as a road, because, I mean, really? Anyway, um, so we've already got some basic stuff set up. Nothing crazy, nothing that y'all haven't seen before. What we are going to mess around with tonight is we're going to start with the basics of an auto spawner. Because one of the annoying things about this map is that we're having some problems getting certain mobs to spawn. Like <laughs> Enderman and Brainy Zombies. 
By the way, Thomcraft is installed too. So we are going to use Mine Factory Reloaded's ability to auto spawn stuff. And we're going to start with Brainy Zombies. This here is a Safari Net. Basically, it's a Pokeball. Let's let's be honest. Over here, we have a single-use version that has a cow in it. You walk out into the world, you catch a cow, you walk over, you click, you place a cow. Now, that's all well and good, but you can only spawn one of them. There is a device in here somewhere. I want to figure out where the hell I put it. Fit in parts. What are you looking for? There it is. The auto spawner. You put this thing down in the world. You right click it. You can put a safari net ball in there. And it will constantly spawn that mob. It does, however, require power. And it also requires mob essence. In order to get mob essence, you have to have a different type of farm. That's what these little cows are going to be. These little cows are going to be our sacrificial mm. victims. Or rather not Yay. these cows. These cows are the breeding mm. stock. The baby cows are going to be our sacrificial victims. Isn't that nice? Aren't we good people? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. Alright, so. In order to make this happen, we need a way to feed the cows. Are we going to automate that? Or are um, we just... Well... I think we're going to automate that. We need golden carrots and golden apple. Hmm. Is that the regular golden apple? Yeah. That's easy enough to do. Do we have an apple? Do we have any apples at all? I don't think we do. Damn. Actually, I'm pretty sure we don't. We only have one carrot. We need two. This sucks. We're prepared. <laughs> totally. All right, so I I'm gonna. Was Coe's. I think he ate them all. Oh, he ate all our apples. Yeah. Bastard. Probably. We are running low on food. I have the last piece of steak. Well, this will be. This will. Uh, that problem will be fixed very soon. I'm gonna plant some carrots here. And let's get some bone meal and bone meal the carrots. And then let's go ahead and grow a tree and see if we can get an apple. Where's the bone meal? There it is. I have trees in the tools chest for some reason. Don't worry, I was putting cobblestone in the gems chest. Don't even worry about it. Until we get that ME system going. Whoa. Yay, carrots. Yeah, I haven't done the ME system yet. Why? Uh, some why is this tree not growing? I don't need it. I was gonna put it in your boxes. No, it's fine. Oh, there we go. One thing I am gonna miss about red power is that frickin' sickle. Oh god, yes. Really, are we gonna get absolutely no apples from this? And no saplings at all. I'm tree and I'm helping. Oh, we got a sapling. That's good. Two saplings. So if nothing else, we doubled our yield. Where's the axe of awesome? Uh, you know what? I have no idea. It's in the soul's chest. I randomly found an Axe of the Stream while I was out roaming the wilds. Axe of the Stream is cool because it works like a regular axe, but if you hold down right click, it chops down all the wood and then floats it to you. We use it as our emergency hacksaw in case of emergencies. Oh, damnation. <laughs> I'm a big tree. <laughs> You know what? I have better things to do than chop down these freaking trees. Don't you have the axe of the stream? Yeah. 
So I'm just going to let the leaves long. decay naturally. We'll just walk over here every once in a while and see if an apple drops. For right now, we'll start on the second part of the system. Uh, let's just throw this dump away for now. Yeah, whatever. Um, speaking of food... There's a little steak in here. Soon we'll have a bunch of steak. Steak will stop being a problem very soon. Nom 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 nom. Well, we're trying not to take handouts. We're trying to be self-sufficient here. Just plant a couple trees over here. Okay, so after we feed the cows, we need a way to get the cows out of there. That is done with a device called a chronotyper. Plastic sheets, purple dye, a factory machine block, and some emeralds. There should well, be some uh, plastic sheets. Yeah, there's the plenty of plastic sheets. I made a bunch of them. Yeah, so, since we're underwater. Three. One of you. And in the parts chest, there should be a factory machine block, and there should be some plastic sheets in one of the project tables. Whoops. I'm fun, Devin. I can't type. All I did was mess up a shift. It's alright. I'm fun, Devin. I can't type. Where the hell are all the plastic sheets? There they are. Alright. Make us some purple dye. And then over here, factory machine block, emeralds, purple dye, plastic sheets, gets us the chronotyper. Chronotypers allow you to sort big cows from little cows. Bag off. No. Back off, cow. You cannot escape. You can't escape your fate. Apparently they think they can. <laughs> yeah, well, they're wrong. Oh, no. Come back here. Okay, chronotyper. There we go. Moving babies. Oh, crap. The cows can get over there. Cows can get over! No! How are they escaping? I thought the chronotyper was supposed to... Well, they're walking over the top of it. Yeah, I was wondered. I don't understand. I thought fences were supposed to keep animals... Oh, oh, I see. Over the chronotyper. Yeah, they're walking over the chronotyper. Oh. Dead cow. See that? Let that be a lesson to the rest of you. Get some glass. God knows that's the one thing we have enough of right now glass and cobblestone. What the hell are you doing? I'm building a building. I don't know what you're talking about. You're throwing <laughs> lux capacitors all over the fucking place is what you're doing. What are lux capacitors? I don't even know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it's not I like swear. they're not all over the fucking city because of you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> the cows are escaping. Back off. There. That's a good idea. As an extra added bonus, it's glass, so the cows can see through and see what happens to their children. <laughs> <laughs> you evil bastard. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so. User entered your channel. Roll. Hello, user. Oh, it's ninja. That's a ninja. <laughs> Alright. So, um, it has occurred to me that we're going to need some more hardened glass, because we need some more redstone energy conduits. Uh, would you mind, Fun Devin? I suppose. Do we have obsidian dust? No, we don't. Aye, aye. Um, in the tools chest, though, there should be an unbreaking efficiency pickaxe. Yeah, I have it. Okay. Alright. 
Put the access stream away. Put the fence away. I don't have, have inventory. Put those away. Put that away. Now, um, we are also going to need a way to dispose of the baby cows. That is done using a grinder. Plastic sheets, a book, a piston, a machine block, and a golden sword. I don't know why it uses a golden sword. Because nobody uses them? Possibly. I guess. We just so happen to have a book. We got some plastic sheets in here. Uh, what are the factory machine blocks? Just stone and... yeah. Just some regular old stone and some plastic sheets. Of course we have no frickin' plain old stone. Ninja, I'm recording by the way. You are? Yeah. Which means calm your mic. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, factory machine blocks. We're gonna need Dang, a piston. My favorite thing in the world to make. <laughs> Note to self, get auto crafting system up soon. Before he starts cutting self. Yeah. We have enough cobblestone to build an aircraft carrier. Oh. I'm gonna oh, you have off. no idea. <laughs> no, you one don't. of our one of our players is actually building an aircraft carrier, which is why I said that. Um. Apparently, Alaze, your group is doing like an aircraft base, right? Yes. Yep, we are. Uh, Navy base with an uh, aircraft carrier and a sub. Nice. I will have to come check that out on camera once you guys get some progress done. Also, once I have a chance to world guard it. Alright, there's the golden sword. Ridiculous as that is. There's the grinder. We will come over here and place the grinder right over here. There. Now the mob grinder. Are we going to need a second chronotyper here to bring large cows into a slaughtering pen? No, unless long I'll come look. Because... Is, is the grinder going to wait for a big cow before it kills it? Yes. Okay. See, I've never actually used Mine Factory Reloaded before, so... Alright. Um, now that we have a couple carrots and an apple, we can go ahead and make the breeder. Which is some more purple dye, another one of those factory blocks. We're gonna need some gold. A piece of red dye. A piece of lapis. And not electrum. Three gold bars. Actually, two gold bars. Because I think there's some gold nuggets in the gems chest. There is. Not enough. Okay, port me there, uh, dagger. Uh. Yeah. Alright, so pull that out and gold for golden carrots, for golden apple. And apple, and carrots, and purple dye gives us the breeder. And the breeder, I'm just going to pop right over here. There. Now, we're going to have to... 
shield this again, or else the cows are going to escape. Alright, bee hunting it is. Oh, bad cow. I'm you having escape. such an extreme and your dinner. Hard time. Whoa. I swear, if that cow escapes, it's dinner. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Now, I think this is backwards, actually. I think this side has to be facing it. Uh, it needs to be facing the chronotyper. You know, over here. Tiger? You no, I was, the I was around. after the breeder. Oh, the chronotype has to be turned around? Yep. Back off, cow. Go away. <laughs> Loving trouble, cow. Oops. Uh. Favor? <laughs> Thank you. There. Alright. And then this, I think, is also facing the wrong way. I think this needs to be facing that way. Okay, I think everything's facing the right way now. Now we just need the ability to power it, which is where the hardened glass comes in. Any luck yet? Yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, how much do you need? Um, we're gonna need probably like, oh, I don't know, dozen pieces of hardened glass. I was just gonna get 32 pieces of obsidian. That works. Nice and even. That works. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking up some redstone in the magma crucible. Get us some Got liquid redstone. That lag. <laughs> I almost lag. I lagged into a lava pit, but then it pulled me out and was like, Nope, sorry, you didn't actually die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing, but it's right. like super scary. And should probably get to work on a little more Electrum, too, because 12 pieces ain't going to cut it. Hey, fans, don't forget, with my internet, I have to do with that a lot more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's not your internet. It's the fact it's that you're in Australia, yeah. connecting my to a internet. server in New England. Eh? Alright. Now the alloy smelter takes five seconds to make Electrum. That sounds good. Oh, it's hey, making Dad, a different type question. of Electrum, though. Huh? My question, do you know how tree breeding works? Uh, yeah. I've actually been doing a lot of it. Ah, oh, cool, because I'm trying and I can't get it to work, otherwise it takes a long time. It does take a long time. Basically, uh, what you need to do is you just need to have active bees around two different types of trees, and the trees have to be treealized. Oh, that will explain it then. <laughs> now i got to go back and delete it. So, oh, treealize your tree. saplings and then plant them. Oh, um, darn. To get started, use an apple oak and a birch. Alright. I'm it's pretty sure one... that gives you the mutation to silver lime. Cool. The one-to-one -one ratio for... Obsidian. Yeah, I looked to die with 20, but uh, said just stupid. place a bunch of trees near each other. I'm gonna go grab some lead. Oh, I already have some. Here, oh, just, uh, just toss it in the induction smelter. May as well get it Why running. Why am I so low on ice? So apparently with Yay, the uh, hardened glass module, it doesn't affect you when you're on glass. Uh, glass, um, ice. Oh, wintries. And we'll toss this in and start transposing some of this liquid redstone. Plenty of electrum there. Alright, and let's go ahead and get some more conduits rolling here. Now, I'm not sure how we want to power this to start out. 
would eventually I like to move it towards a renewable source like biogas or something like that. Especially now that we can actually make biogas engines since they got the configs worked out. Yes, yeah, seriously. Thank God. I've been using okay. oxygen. But I think for right now we can just use a redstone energy cell. Okay, Is biogas so. better than combustion? One, two, three. So if we cut all the way out here, we should end up running right under the other machines. Um, let's see here. That's the middle, so... Three, four, five, and right here. Yep, yeah, there's one machine. And then one, two... One, two, three, four, five. Here should be the last one. Good. We'll just hollow this out. Now, eventually, I'm going to want to replace the floor, the grass on the ground here, with some grates because Mine Factory Reloaded has actually gone so far as to add sewage to the game. Oh, yes, that. Which you can get from having farm animals standing on top of crates. Apparently, they do their business now. Ooh, cultivate I don't know why you'd Mali want to princess. have that, though. Um, you... Because you can use it to make industrial fertilizer. Oh. So it's optional to do yeah. crates, right? Yeah, you don't need them. It just, it, it's a way to gain extra resources. Whoa, what the hell was that? Hehehe, <laughs> oh. I have a new toy. <laughs> what the hell? Ooh, a zombie. What toy did he have? Is that a wand of lightning? No, not at all. Why would it be that? <laughs> You're not very convincing. Die! <laughs> wow, that is so inefficient. It's not even funny. <laughs> Alright, so... Dig up through here. Yes, it's a and... wand of lightning. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop our redstone energy cell in there, as soon as I figure out what the hell I did with it. Probably in tools? No, why would it be in the most... obvious place? What the hell did I do with it? No. Oh, I finally got my That's irritating. I can't wait till I can use this on Kozak. <laughs> I got two Valiant Princesses. But oh, I'm sure that's gonna go win. over well. <laughs> it's not in the parts chest. It's not in the tools chest. Have you seen the Redstone Energy Cell? Oh uh, yeah, it's hanging on the the charging station. It is. Yeah. Oh no, it's just sitting in here. Well, yeah, that charging, that's what I thought the charging station was called. No, I just, I popped it down. We really need to do auto-sorting soon. Yeah. I'll probably do that off-camera. Everyone's seen how to do a applied energistic system. At least everyone who's probably watching this. If not, go watch my normal series. You'll learn how to do it. Okay, so crescent hammer. Break that. Come over here. We'll pop this on. Right there. Give this a shot. And it's now discharging into the breeder. And the chronotyper over here. which are currently sitting totally idle, and the mob grinder. So everything's currently sitting idle. The reason for that is that, well, there's no wheat in the system to feed the cows. We happen to have some wheat over here. Somewhere. There it is. Would you like a stack of wheat to get you started? No, we have some. We have almost a stack. So, almost put the wheat in here. 
and wait for it to actually do something. There we go. I hear little moo cows. And now, little fairly moo soon, cows. the chronotyper is going to detect that there's little moo cows, and now the moo cows are getting out. Holy crap. No. Bad cows. Bad cows. <laughs> Bad cows. No. No. There. They're One of them got out. Here. Kill them. Oh. Kill them with fire. No. No. Now they're all following you. <laughs> you fool. What have you done? Do you have any wheat? <laughs> it's all in the breeder. I don't have any inventory space. Here, I'll get it. Come here, cows. Come here, little cows. Go, oh, come here, little cows. That's right. Come on. Follow the nice man with the tasty wheat. I'm sure a horrible fate does not await you in here. Get back in here, you little bastard. Crap. <laughs> oh my god. Come here. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come, why Why are they looking at you? Because I have a jungle wood block. I don't know why. It's very interesting to them. Come on. Oh, I got this one's attention. Uh, uh. Come on. Oh, oh, the other one's coming to you. Come on, you little bastards. Come on. Come on. Come no, on. almost. Close the gate, close the gate, close the gate. Hold on, I almost got this one inside. Yeah, no! So close. Get inside, you little brick. I'm losing their attention. Oops. What the hell? <laughs> I'm fun, Devin. I'm helping. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Yay! Okay. About time. <laughs> See, I can get out. Is there any specific rules of placement Pricks. the uh, trees have? I can't wait for you to be dinner. Alright, so we have a mob grinder over here. And I think we're going to need a chest behind it. Seems like a pretty decent idea, especially considering what a mob grinder does. Let's put this right there. Which, by the way, yes, if you are playing on the server, follow the directions here. Place a chest, uh, place a sign next to a chest to lock it and make it private. That way, only you can access it. All right, now we have moo cows. Now we just wait for these guys to grow up. How's the redstone energy cell holding up? It shouldn't yeah, really be using a lot of power. Oh it's yeah, not. it's using almost no power. What's a bad idea? I somehow don't think that'll work. How is that even possible? Please explain. You can capture the end dragon. What? What the hell? Oh god. You have got to be kidding me. You can capture the end dragon. What are you supposed to do with it? It's your are you pet. Gonna, <laughs> are you going to breed it in the overworld? <laughs> An auto spawner with an end dragon in it. Genius. That's just stupid enough it might work. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, I'm just waiting and see if these cows will grow up on camera. I'm breaking the flux capacitors on the inside of the farmland, by the way. Okay. There should be enough light. I gotta if say, not, I can make them light. Yeah. I gotta say, Lux capacitors 
way frickin' overpowered. They can be used as weapons. The Lux Capacitor module requires a piece of glowstone dust and two pieces of iron. And it fires a light that's brighter than a torch, sticks to a wall, and never burns out. So you don't have to carry torches when you mine anymore. Just dig a few blocks, fire a Lux Capacitor at the wall. Keep going. Oh, All right. oh, Dagger. We should show him this. Oh, we have more cows. We have more little cows. Dagger. Huh? Over here, at my soon-to-be library. Oh, hey, look what it is. It's my body. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. Infinite hugs! <laughs> Infinite hugs! Yeah, for some reason, creepers are totally bugged out, and they won't explode right now. I am all for it. No more Creeper Mafia? <laughs> no more Creeper Mafia. God, that was so funny. <laughs> User left your channel. Okay, we got nothing in the chest yet. We got a few more baby cows, though. User joined your channel. Hello, user. How many big cows do we have? We have four big cows, which is just about perfect. Although we'll probably want to get a few more. Maybe have like eight, eight or so big cows. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put all of this crap away. <clears throat> Random stuff showing up on all the chests. User entered your channel. Hello, user. Hello. Hello. All right. Well, coming up on about 37 minutes here. I'm really hoping one of these cows grows up on camera. I kind of want to show what happens before we move on to the next part of this build. Is it automated? Like, does it automatically... Oh yes, it's automated. <laughs> I'm tempted to, cap uh, to capture one of the big cows and throw it in here just to show what happens. Make a uh, syringe. A, um, syringe of growth. And you can right-click the cow with it and it'll grow up instantly. An empty syringe is some rubber, plastic sheets, and iron. The growth sear syringe is... Oh, it's just a golden carrot. That's not too bad. Nope, it's really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get in the parts chest. Do we have any rubber? No, of course not. Why would we have any rubber? You can actually automate the farm with a veterinary station and the golden carrot thing and force spawn all the cows into adults and kill them off as fast as they can spawn. That's kind of brutal. I like it. I know, right? So do I. It's just gold intensive. Which time I have to go get me a zombie pigman spawner. Let's come over here and grab... Oh, I only have one carrot left. I need to throw another carrot before I mess around with this. Grab a gold ingot. Helps if I actually get it. Aw, oh, slain oh. by a spider. First death on camera. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll eventually die here soon. I'm sure I will too. I'm notorious for dying on camera. Oh, damn it, I forgot. Hey, Tyne! Yay! That's who came on earlier. Yeah, I'm recording, by the way. Name. As I almost burned to death from overheating with my gauntlet. Nice. Yeah, about that. I forgot I was in the latest, desert. Latest version of Power Suits adds heat to the gauntlet, so you have to make sure it doesn't overheat. Wait, it if can overheat? It can overheat. If you're oh. in the desert, Railguns tend to do it very down. fast. And I happen to All be right. in, in a desert. Empty syringe plus golden carrot equals growth syringe. 
So what color are we going to want our warded stone? Gross syringe plus baby cow equals big cow. Big cow plus grinder equals mob essence and leather. <laughs> That's so evil. I don't care. I like it. What color do you want the warded stone dagger? Um, I don't know. Just gray. It doesn't really matter. Boring. It doesn't so really matter. Your power gauntlet can overheat. Yeah. I'm just gonna use black. You have to have heat vents in order to dissipate the heat, I guess. And if you're in a desert, it doesn't dissipate at all. The chess piece has <laughs> a uh, cooling system on it. It requires an ender eye and something else. And it'll oh, that's cool. nice. That's not expensive at all. No, it cools at uh, 400% its current cool rate. And it'll cool in deserts and the nether. <laughs> yeah, in the I... deserts and the nether, apparently, you don't cool off. Yeah. And how do you know right. it's about to overheat? There's a, There's a little bar. heat bar off to the side. You go over it and you overheat. And then you die. Okay. So we have baby cows that are going to grow up into nice big cows and then summarily be killed and turned into mob essence. And next episode, we're going to explore what we can do with mob essence, the auto spawner, and the safari net. Might actually even try to record that tonight, depending on how fast we can get some of these cows to grow up and get some mob essence, because from what I understand, it takes a lot of mob essence. Yeah. It takes four cows per one mob. Four cows per one mob? That's actually not too bad. It only takes 400 millibuckets. Yep. As long as you got the mob spawner at, uh, it has a little module thing in it that says, uh, set, or make exact copy, set that as no. Yeah, well, I mean, you don't need an exact copy. That exact copy is for copying villagers. You say if you have a villager that gives you three emeralds for a infinite safari net, you can copy him repeatedly. Oh, nice. That's nice. All right, well, i got to cut the episode here, peeps. So this has been Night Dagger with Galt's Gorge, episode one. Um, like I said, this is not a private server. Feel free to download the mod pack on galtsgorge.com. And uh, come join us. I mean, come play. Yes. There's plenty of room. There's plenty of people. We're all pretty nice here. And as long as you follow the rules, which honestly, really, the main rule here is don't be an asshole. Thank you, fun. Yeah, I mean, the main rule, info. just don't be an asshole. Um, TeamSpeak info will be forum. broadcast when you first log in. Feel free to join us on TeamSpeak as well. But for right now, I will catch you later, peeps. Adios.